In this video, we'll talk about VMs with multiple processors. First, let's look at the distinction between physical and virtual CPUs. A physical CPU, also known as a PCPU, is a single processor or core that is available on the hardware. Virtual CPUs are virtualized versions of CPUs that are made available to the guest operating system through a VMM or hypervisor. Therefore, in the example that you're seeing on screen, the hardware has two physical CPUs and we have a total of four virtual CPUs. We have three virtual CPUs assigned to the Linux VM and one virtual CPU assigned to a Windows VM. Guest virtual machines must have at least one vCPU. And the hypervisor or VMM manages the mapping between vCPUs to PCPUs. Therefore, these virtual CPUs must be scheduled for execution on the physical CPUs. So let's look at virtual CPU scheduling. The hypervisor or VMM must provide each guest vCPU a portion of the underlying physical processing time. This is not unlike what operating systems do to give individual processes slices of the CPU. vCPU scheduling, as you can imagine, is fairly complex and there are many considerations. There is the idea of efficiency and the idea of proximity. If you are scheduling a vCPU on a particular physical CPU, then it is generally better to co-schedule corresponding virtual CPUs running in the same guest to be as close as possible to that physical CPU. You also need to be able to provide fairness to multiple guest VMs. So a single guest VM cannot take up the processor time of the entire host while other guest VMs are starving for processor time. And also there is the idea of SLAs. For example, a tenant could pay more for their virtual machine and be entitled to more processor time than another tenant on the same machine. So there should be a way in which you could specify that priority and assign processing time uh, as such. To give you a simple idea, we'll look at Zen's CPU schedulers as examples. The Zen CPU schedulers that we'll be looking at are the simple earliest deadline first or SEDF scheduler and Zen's credit scheduler. The simple earliest deadline first scheduler SEDF is a simple scheduler in Zen. Virtual machines can request physical CPU slices of duration N for a period of M seconds. Thus each slice can be run within a deadline. As an example, consider if n is equal to 10 milliseconds and m is equal to 100 milliseconds. Then this vCPU can be scheduled as late as 90 milliseconds within the 100 millisecond period in order to complete within the deadline. Therefore, all runnable vCPUs along with their slice and period information are held in a queue and the scheduler simply selects the next vCPU with the earliest deadline and execute it. The credit scheduler is a little more complicated. The credit scheduler is a proportional fair share or work conserving scheduler. Each virtual CPU is provided with two variables, a weight and a cap. The weight determines the relative importance for a virtual CPU and it determines the physical CPU share to be allocated to the vCPU with respect to all other vCPUs in the system. The cap is a hard limit on the total physical CPU time that an individual vCPU can take up. vCPU weights are then converted to credits by the scheduler and we'll see the algorithm shortly. Providing a weight on each virtual CPU is a useful feature and it can be used to enforce SLAs by providers. So let's look at the algorithm for the credit scheduler. The scheduler will maintain a queue on each available physical CPU and assign virtual CPUs to the physical CPUs. Now it classifies virtual CPUs into two types. A virtual CPU is over if it exceeds its fair share of CPU in the period and it's under if it's not exceeded that fair share. As each vCPU runs it consumes credits. The credits for each vCPU are refreshed periodically using a system wide accounting thread. Therefore, the prioritization during execution is for vCPUs that are under. Those are given priority first, followed by vCPUs that are over. 
If there is a physical CPU that does not have any runnable vCPUs in its local queue, then it picks one from the other physical CPUs. This ensures that no physical CPU is idle while there are virtual CPUs that are waiting to run.